Hello and welcome back to Terraria. My name is Todd, also known as Major Mech, and this is of course Terraria. Last time we did a little bit of exploring in some caves. Uh, didn't really find a whole, whole lot, but we did find a loom which allowed us to craft uh, some Hermes boots. Uh, previously I had ice skates on. Uh, I still have those of course, they're just in this chest instead. This The reason for this being is because I wanted my healthy boots equipped because uh, I am going to talk with the cobbler to shine my shoes. So we can get a little bit of extra speed on top of the Hermes boots that we have. And I mean I'm pull out my apple pies. Because we're going to head into the corruption this time around. Um, I'm going to pull out all my bombs as well, if I can find those. Yes, I got tons of those. Uh, I don't want to pull out my dynamite. I'm not planning on using any dynamite in the corruption, but I am going to use some bombs to dig out some area in the corruption, which will hopefully allow me to get to some of those orbs and maybe some in the Eater of Worlds. I uh, don't know if we'll be able to handle them. I don't think we will, honestly, but you never know. Sometimes you can get lucky. The big thing being is we're going to go down there and try our best to take him on. Because the quicker we're able to handle him and get some better armor and weapons, the easier of a time we will have. Now let's see, we have to go past the jungle. And it's pretty much just right past the jungle. Alright. So let's go. This is definitely going to be a fun adventure because uh, we're going to be dealing with some stuff that is probably going to kill us pretty easily, but hey. We've got a chance to take him down, and we're going to take it. I'm hoping that uh, the Amadeus, Amadeus Spark will do a good amount of damage. The Hermes Boots will allow me to dodge well, plus to the, the, uh, the clouds in a bottle and the blizzard in a bottle. Um, will allow me to jump around as I need to. With the Healthy Boots equipped, giving us a little bit of life regen, I'm hoping we'll be able to tackle him. Uh, don't honestly know if we will actually be able to because we really don't have a lot of life overall. And if we're not able to really handle him, we're just going to break a bunch of orbs to see if we can uh, get some good stuff from him. Because those, as I've said in some previous parts, those orbs have good stuff. But I think we have a pretty good chance with the amount of jumps we've got. Might just get lucky enough that we can tackle him in one go. But we will see when we actually get there. We're getting like, quite a few stars here, which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to craft as many stars as I can into mana crystals. Oh, have we re reached the cap already? I guess we have. Okay. Well, uh, we've got some mana crystals in case we need to use them as a material later, but now the rest of our stars can go to something else. It's kind of beneficial. We do have the full 200 mana nice to have, especially before we're going into this fight. I'm hoping I can get a Vile Thorn out of one of the orbs. Um, that'll greatly kill him, uh, kill, kill the boss much quicker than anything else I could think of. Maybe our sword, maybe. It might do a little bit of damage. But we will see. Uh, I think I'm going to go down one of these over here. Get out of here, eaters. Get out of here. No, I don't want nothing to do with you. Oh, that's a, one of the, that's a bunny and looking enemy, it's called the Innocent, and they, if I remember correctly, hit very hard. It's kind of a sad thing that they've added in some of the mod packs, is corrupt enemies that you typically wouldn't see, like the Innocent. It's very disgusting. Showing that there were many innocent souls that were lost among the corruption. Uh, it looks like this hole's a bust, so we're going to have to go into another one. Hopefully, we're going to find the way down eventually. Without dying, that is. There's lots and lots of bad things in the corruption, of course, and all of them want us dead. Oh, of course, we didn't find the exact way down. Well, we can bomb our way down from here, though. So we will throw some bombs to try and clear it out. Should be noted that without any bombs trying to get down from here would be nearly impossible, 
but I just don't want to use up all my bombs because we've only got so many and they do cost us a pretty penny to buy them. Making our way down though. The technical order of things here should be a... that we should actually kind of be focused more towards the Aya Cthulhu right off the bat because we haven't actually even fought him yet. But if we can skip the Aya Cthulhu straight to the Eat Our Worlds, we'll be in good business. Uh, I gotta get these guys out of my way. Uh, not while getting hit a whole bunch, hopefully. Uh, ow. What did I just say? There we go. Okay. We're clearing them out, slowly but surely. Let's clear this one out. So of course there's tons of demon altars down here because it's the corruption, but we gotta get over here to this orb. Hmm, now what's the most effective way to get to this orb? Without getting murdered by all the eaters here. Crimeys. Lots and lots of eaters. Uh, there we go. Oh, I'm hearing a worm. Not the best thing that we could have countered. Uh, is that a water chest? Wow. Didn't expect to see one of those down here. Uh, worms are bad news, of course, because they do a lot of damage. Gotta avoid them when they come up. You can, of course, tell when they're coming towards you because they speed up the little chugging noises. The little train noise that they make. I will open that water chest as soon as I'm done dealing with this worm. Well, I could probably open it right now. Just a breathing through it. Oh! He tried to get me while I was in the chest, see? You gotta watch those zones. Just a breathing read, though. Nothing super useful. There's a lot of water down here, which I'm not a big fan of. Water slows down your movement quite a lot, and I don't have any good benefits from being in it right now. Though we might come across some later on in the game. We don't have any right now. Uh, just, oh, ouch. Ow. That worm hits for a good chunk of damage, doesn't he? Okay, so we need to throw some bombs right where I am standing to get us down to that orb without getting murdered by eaters. Okay, I should probably throw these on my hotbar here so I don't have any issues. Gotta throw that torch up a little bit higher. Uh, we're just gonna keep tossing them straight down, trying to get, make my way towards that orb. Crimeys, it's an eater convention, isn't it? So of course, before uh, the eater world spawns, we can break two orbs, and the third orb will spawn the eater worlds, which is not the best, but if we can manage to get down to there and get some a good weapon, we might just be able to take him out right off the bat. But that's only if we're lucky. If we're unlucky, we're going to be at this for some time. Uh, but there seems to be quite a good amount of orbs throughout, so I'm not worried about it. Wow, a godly musket right off the bat. That was a good one. Uh, yeah, taking these guys out like they were nothing. Be able to take out the uh, Eye of Cthulhu with a godly musket very easily. Um, also got some musket balls, which we'll use as ammo, of course. Uh, which also will mean the uh, gun salesman will come soon. Uh, let's see, I probably don't need the boomerang. What's better, the boomerang or the blade? The boomerang is worse. Okay, so we'll throw the musket on there instead. Just look at that damage. Holy cow. Just blows them away. They didn't even have a chance. Uh, I think the hammer is the one that we actually do want to keep on there because the axe and the pickaxe uh, kind of do what they do automatically. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else we want on here? Yeah, we want my pie on there. Um, I guess I could throw the boomerang on there just because. I don't super need it right now, but eh. Might as well have it on there. Only have 88 shots with that musket, though, which is kind of a downside to using a gun it's early on. Is you don't really have any ammo for it unless until the uh, gun trader comes. But we 
we're going to be okay, I think. We're going to progress by just blowing up some more. Really hoping to get that vile thorn, like I stated previously. If we don't manage to get it, I'm pretty sure the uh, you know worlds will just kick our teeth in. Oh, oh, the water was messing with me there. Uh, what did we get this time? Oh, band of star power. Not necessarily a bad thing to get, but early on it's not super useful. Uh, probably gonna get killed by this first eater. Um, let's see. Do not use, of course, things around the altars that would attempt to destroy them, because I think it does damage to you if they're attempted, if they uh, are attempted to be destroyed. I don't know if I said that right, but yeah, if you try to break them before you're able to, then uh, bad things happen. We'll just use some stuff right there to contain it, and we will throw some more bombs. Trying to get my way over to that one there. Uh, it's best to kind of throw them directly downwards if you're able to, because then they don't roll as much. But it doesn't always work perfectly. Because slanted surfaces, they always tend to roll. Um, let's throw it right Oh, that one rolled a whole lot. That was not great. Uh, might have to build up a little bit more with the ebon stone, just so we can create a little box to throw our bomb in. Alright, that'll work. Should I be shouting fire in the hole every time I do this? Yeah, I should, probably should, but I don't want to blow people's ears out. It's not like there's anybody else here to get hurt by it either. Oh, I almost... I almost walled myself in there. Be very careful when you're using Ebonstone, because we don't have a pick to break it yet. Alright, this is the uh, tried and true. Let's try and kill the Eater Worlds. We're gonna die. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that was scary. The worst thing that we can have happen right now would be to have him... Uh, get us in a loop and damaging us. We seem to be able to handle him pretty okay though. Oh, ouch. Can't let him double hit me like that too much. Oh, this eater is just messing me up. We are getting healed and oh, we almost got him. We were starting to get him uh, down, but we did just get murdered. I think my melee weapon was actually doing all right there at the beginning, uh, but it just kind of fell apart. I did manage to get a shadow diamond, which is kind of interesting. I think that just drops uh, because it was the first time we'd taken a little piece of him out. Did get some shadow scales, which of course allow us to craft something. Uh, oh, I was looking at gold stuff earlier. Let's see, I want to create the nightmare pick. Oh, I needed one more shadow scale. Oh, that is a real pain in the butt. See, what do we need to get? Uh, all right. So the big thing we're trying to get is the nightmare pick because that'll allow us to get hellstone, but pretty much mine everything in the corruption, which much more beneficial. Oh, the uh, the arms dealer has arrived. Awesome. Could buy the mini shark if we had enough gold, but we do not. Could buy the flintlock pistol, but. Again, don't have enough gold for that. Big thing is, is we want to buy a whole bunch of musket balls. Because we're going to need lots and lots of ammo for our new toy. Uh, I am going to take a look at... The ball of hurt It's actually still worse than my ice blade. The ball of hurt's not... I, I'm not a big fan of... Oh, is that a grenade? Oh, that was the demolitionist that threw that. Um, the ball of hurt's okay. Just because of kind of what it does, it allows you to swing it around, but I just don't like mace weapons, they're not my favorite. It's not even really a uh, material for anything, so I'm just going to get rid of it, honestly. I just don't need it. Let's see, is there anything else that I could get to potentially help me out here? I don't think so, I just kind of got cornered by him, and that was the main thing you don't want to let happen when you're fighting the Eater Worlds. 
Next time, uh, might take another crack at him, but we might also take a crack at some of the flying bosses because we did just get the musket. And the musket is great for that. If we don't have any luck with any of the f other flying bosses, then we'll probably attempt to tackle um, the Eater of Worlds again by trying to get more gear from him. And we'll hope for the best. I'm just going to keep pretty much throwing myself at some of these bosses until we can get one of them killed. Because that will be greatly help uh, greatly helpful to us if we can actually destroy one. Ooh. So there are wings that you can get before hard mode in some of these mod packs, which I will try and endeavor to get before anything else, because wings are super useful for us. There's also some Star Fury. What, what do we have here? Star Fury is a broadsword, huh? Okay. I did also want to check out what I could make with Arcane Dust, though. But I can do that later. Uh, let's see, how much time do we have left? Should I make another an attempt at something else? Oh, okay. I got a good amount of time. I could make an attempt at the um, Grand Thunderbird. If I can figure out what I did with the flare gun, which I thought was... Oh, the flare gun's in the... That's right, it's in the piggy bank. Um, and now I need a flare. Flare. Uh, storm flare. So I need some arcane dust, a talon, and any iron bar. Okay. Uh, definitely have enough of that stuff. Should be able to make one relatively easy. What do I use the desert fetters for again? Uh, sandstorm in a bottle, that's right. I knew I was saving them for some reason. My talons are right there. Now where is... Oh, I'm changing the name of that chest. I don't want to do that. Uh, where is... Oh. I've got desert feathers and multiple chests. That's not great. Let's make a couple flares. Where? Where or where? I know I've got iron bars somewhere. At the very least, I know I have iron somewhere. Come on. Oh, got another like talon. I, I really need to reconsolidate these chests later on. But eventually we'll get that storage, and then it'll just be kind of pointless to have chests around. Ah, oh, there's my iron bars. Okay, so we'll make some. We'll make a flare. At the very least, one of them, and we'll try it out. Um, let's see. Do I want to make the range set? I could make the range set to boost my range damage. Let's try that out. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Ranged. Just so we can see if we can take down a boss with the range set instead. Uh, well, uh, he died very quickly to the damage of the. Uh, what is it? The Amadeus Spark. Let's hope the boss has the same fate. We do have the nice bit of health regen we're getting from the healthy boots. We got lots of jumps now, we got lots of speed. Um, Got the hooks. Oh, I, I never did use the pie, did I? I should have used my pie. Uh, the food items you do have to use manually, so that is something to note. Oh, dodging between these. There he is. I love the music for this guy. It just sounds so epic. Triumphant. Uh, my musket is definitely not quick, but I think I might be able to take him out. I'm doing just a ton of damage. Oh, I don't want to let him run into me if he, if able. Got to make sure I keep on top of my jumps. He will also do the uh, scream thing eventually, and I don't want him to do that. Oh, he's doing his little tornadoes. Thankfully our desert here has got lots and lots of room, which we can kite him with. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh! He got me there. He nicked me. Uh, let's use an apple pie so we can start that health regen going. Oh, ouch. Whoop. Oh, he got me again. I I'm wearing him down, though, real good. Make sure to avoid. Dodge, dodge. Evasive maneuvers. Oh, boy. Ow. 
That one hurt. But it did proc my Amadeus Spark, and I think we're gonna get him. I uh, don't want to speak before we actually do, though. You never know. There we go. Come on. There he is. Dead. Got him, just like that. Well, we didn't succeed in uh, killing the Eater of Worlds, but we did manage to kill off the Great Thunderbird. What did we get? So we got a Reversity Coin Tier 1. What is... Ooh. Uh, buying treasure bags from Operator. Can be used for buying treasure bags from Operator. Interesting. So I'm guessing there's an NPC. Uh, the Alchemist NPC pack did just update a little bit of back, and uh, it uh, added a bunch of stuff, so there might be something cool from that. The treasure bag. What did we get? We got a bird mask. That looks kind of entertaining. We got a sluggish dig didgeridoo. Oh, that sounds cool, but super annoying. I don't plan on using it that much. Got a ranged, nimble talon burst. How good is this? Ooh, it's very quick. Very quick. What is the special effect of it? Oh, we got a present as well. Uh, turns wooden arrows into storm bolts. Storm bolts fly incredibly fast and hit the same target twice. Ooh, that'll actually be really good for the. Um... Wow, they they do travel pretty quick. They uh. That will be really good for the uh, Eater of Worlds. So we'll probably use that against him. See if we can't get him down eventually. And we also got Desert Ingots. Uh, which, those will be helpful to us. But the biggest thing is, is we can mark one off the list. So I'm going to head back to my city there. And now we've completed the first two boss. The bosses. Uh, and uh, what can we do with the sandstone ingots? So we can make some armor. Ooh. Some thrown damage armor. Hmm. Might not be super good, but we'll see. Um, big thing is we can make some other weapons. We might be able to kill him again, depending on what, what he drops, if he drops anything good, but we'll see. Uh, though it's nice to be triumphant, and we did get a new NPC. We'll take a look at what he's got next time. But until then, goodbye.